I'm wondering whether you've ever had the experience where it was really important to hear that somebody honored or appreciated what you had to do. All of us in this life love to be appreciated. We love to know that what we've done has been noticed, it's been recognized, and that uh, somebody has appreciated any effort that we have taken to do them good. It's a common human uh, response and reaction, and it's something that God knows that we need. And uh, he mentions it even in our thoughts as we look at uh, the text that has uh, taken up our attention over the last couple of weeks in Isaiah chapter 43. My name is Reverend Kwame Rubadiri, and we're considering next level living, next level ministry and next level living, right here on CETAM Church Online. In the 43rd chapter of uh, the book of Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah, which is perhaps one of the most or best known prophets and certainly one of the most prolific prophets in all of the Bible, uh, begins to paint a picture for us, uh, not just of what's happening uh, amongst the people that he's speaking to or prophesying to, but speaking in a large panoramic view, looking way down through history and looking into the future. Uh, not just to what will happen to the nation of Judah and Israel, but even into the nations of the earth to this day. I believe because Isaiah is often described as the messianic prophet, not only telling us about Jesus and his coming, but also telling us about Jesus and his ministry and the things that he would do here on the earth, things that would last uh, up to the present day, and I believe even into the future until he returns. So on the fourth, fourth verse, of uh, Isaiah chapter 43, we read these words. Since you are precious and honored in my sight, this is God speaking, and because I love you, I will give people in exchange for you, nations in exchange for your life. When these words are somewhat repeated from what we heard and what we looked at in verse three just last week, when we saw that the ransom for Jerusalem would be paid by three different na national armies. God is now re-emphasizing this theme by saying to the children of Israel, and I believe to us because, as I said before, the prophecies of Isaiah are so panoramic and they're so far-reaching, that he would say that we are precious and honored in his sight, and he loves us. How do you see yourself? How, how uh, do you define your life? I, is your life defined by what you do? Uh, what people think of you? Is it defined by your friends? Is it defined by the achievements that you've made in this life? I wonder if your life would be that much more productive, that much more effective in the hands of God that you would actually move to next level living, next level ministry, if you knew and if you realized that you were precious and honored and above all, loved in the sight of God. We don't hear those words often, especially in the cultures here in Africa, but when you do something that gets someone else's attention, and here most especially, God's attention, you don't have to be the best, you don't have to be perfect, you don't have to be uh, at, the, at the top of your game. God loves you for who you are, and he wants you to know that you are precious, honored, and loved. And if you, you and I start this year knowing that that's how God looks at us. That's how God appreciates us. That's, that's, that's the, 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 the pinnacle of God's uh, appreciation of who we are, that we are precious, honored, and loved. How much more are you willing or would you be willing to do for the sake of the kingdom and for the sake of God? Just knowing those facts. More than anything else in this life and that God has to offer, he wants you and I to know that we are loved by him and that our success in the present day is not a, determined by how, how much we score or how much money we make or how much wealth we're able to accumulate and acquire, but that above everything else, God loves us and God treats us as special and honored. I want to venture to say that if you knew that and believed that every day, that the God of the universe, the one who made everything, who created everything you and I see, and who sustains it, 
if he thinks that highly of you, wouldn't your dreams be much bigger? Wouldn't your expectation of yourself and of your life be that much greater? Wouldn't you attempt to do something so much bigger, knowing that God has your back, not just for that moment, but for the rest of your life, and that everything you do is under the scrutiny of God because of his love, not because of his judgment. I believe that you and I are destined to do greater and greater things this year. And one of the ways that you and I are going to reach that pinnacle is by knowing that the God of the universe, the one who made and sustains and protects us from all things, loves us, honors us, and that we are precious to him. Now I know that there are some of you watching me who need to know that today. You've probably gone through a really tough time in 2020, and now as the year begins, it doesn't seem like anything has really changed. I believe God wants us to know, because he wants to take us to the next level, that we are precious, that we are honored, and that we are loved. And you need to know that, and you need to embrace that as one who has been called by God, and one above all things who is loved by God. God bless you.